Hello, this is Python trainer Reuven Lerner, and I'm here with another video in my Python Standard Library video explainer series. And this time we're going to talk about tuples and all the methods that tuples have to offer. So I'm going to create a tuple here, t equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What an exciting tuple this is. And I'm going to run a method on it. Well, how many methods do we actually have on tuples? Let's take a look. t dot and Jupyter can use tab to expand, and I'm going to have two methods. Right, because tuples really, they're immutable, so you can't do anything. So all those list methods we might know about, we can't append, we can't extend, we can't sort, we can't reverse. Tuples in that sense are kind of boring, but they're designed to be boring. Well, they're designed to be efficient and immutable. They're not designed to be boring. In any event, so what are the two methods I can use? One is index, and just like on string, and just like on lists, because tuples are also sequences, we have t.index, I say 30, and that means, you know, where does 30 appear? And sure enough, there it says at 2, because if I say t sub 2, I'm going to get 30 back. What if there repeats? t equals 10, 20, 30, 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50. And now I'm going to say t dot index of 30. And it's going to give me the first index, the lowest index, the one from the left. You can imagine it running a for loop there. And the first time it encounters a 30, it gives us back the information. If I say t of 2, then sure enough, I'm going to get 30 there. The other method I can use is t.count30. And this is how many times does 30 appear? And we can see that 30 appears here three times. Thrice, you might say. It appears here and here and here. And so that's all you can really do with tuples. I mean, tuples are useful in other ways. But in terms of actual methods you can call on tuples, that's about it. Of course, you can look through tuples within. You can iterate over them with for. You can use the reversed and the sorted built-in functions to either get a reversed version of the tuple or a sorted version of the tuple. But in terms of actual tuple methods, you've now seen it all. Not much more to say. All right, this has been the Python Standard Library Video Explainer Series. I'm Ruben. And I'll be back next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this and tell all of your Python-loving friends. Yeah, I'm sure you have some Python-loving friends. All right, I'll see you next time.